Hello, students.、Uh, we are going to talk about angles related to intersecting lines today. So let's start. First, we will focus on adjacent angles. In this figure, A and B are two different angles, and these two angles have a common arm, OB, common arm, and a common vertex, O. Then, angle A and B are called adjacent angles. Adjacent angles. So, are the following angles adjacent angles? A and B are they adjacent angles? On the left hand side, A and B, okay, have a common vertex O, but they do not have a common arm. So, okay, this is not. For the right hand side, okay, O is the common vertex, and that A O B, O B is the common arm of A B. So A and B are adjacent angles. So let's think about the arms O A and O C. If O A and O C are on the same straight lines, okay, then A and B are called adjacent angles on a straight line. Adjacent angles on a straight line. Observe this angle, angle AOC, angle AOC. Angle AOC actually is a straight angle which equals to one hundred and eighty degrees. As a result, we can actually conclude that the sum. Of the adjacent angles on straight line, okay. Here, AOC is one hundred and eighty degrees. A plus B equals to one hundred eighty degrees. In the figure, we can say if AOC is a straight line, then A plus B equals to one hundred and eighty degrees. We have a short form for this. It is adjacent angles on straight line. Remember, the number of angles can be more than two. Okay, three or more angles. If there are three angles on the straight line, we can say that if AOC is a straight line, then x plus y plus z, x plus y and z. Equals to one hundred and eighty degrees. Let's try the following question to find A. Forty-nine degrees plus A equals to one hundred and eighty degrees. It is because adjacent angles on straight line. So A can be found as one hundred and thirty-one degrees in this case. So, other than adjacent angles on a straight line, we may now talk about angles at the point. Angles at the point. In the figure, A, B, and C are three adjacent angles, and they have a common vertex O. The three angles A, B, and C are called angles at the point. Angles at the point. Actually, the angles form a round angle. So A plus B plus C equals to three hundred and sixty degrees. So in general, in if A, B, and C are angles at the point, then A plus B plus C equals to three hundred and sixty degrees. And we have a short term for it. This is angles at a point. Angles at a point. Let's try to solve for a. For the following question. Okay, a plus ninety degrees plus two hundred and ten degrees equals to three hundred and sixty degrees. The reason for this is angles at a point. 
then we can find out that a equals to 60 degrees in this case. Remember, angles at the point. All right, so the last property to be talked about in this video is this, vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. So look at this. In this figure, A, B, and C, D, two straight lines intersect at point O. Angles A, B, C, D are formed at the common vertex O here. So A and B, we can call it vertically opposite angles. C and D are another pair of vertically opposite angles. So we can say that in general, if A, B, and C, D intersect at the point O, then angle, this angle A equals to B, and this angle C equals to D. The short form of it is vertically opposite angles here. Vertically opposite angles. So as usual, let's try to solve a problem by using what we have learned. Okay, first of all, in this case, we have to know that angle POS equals to angle QOR. Angle POS equals to angle QOR. Okay, and this is because of vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. Then, X plus 95 degree is the angle of angle POS. POS. And angle QOR equals to 117 degrees. So we can say x plus 95 degrees equals to 117 degrees. So x is 22 degrees in this case. So in this video, you have learned the basic of adjacent angles on a straight line. Adjacent angles on a straight line and angles at a point angles at the points. Also, vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles. So try your best on the quiz. Bye.